Are we in a matrix? Does sound happen if no one is present to hear it? Do we have free will? Does an ideal government exist? Is time travel possible? What is beauty? If a multiverse exists, what are its implications for us? Ilan lang to sa mga philosophical questions na madalas may encounter mo as you watch movies or Netflix series. Partly if you're studying theology, psychology, theoretical physics, political science, law, philosophy of mathematics, at iba pa. And the purpose of this video is para magkaroon kayo ng basic ideas sa mga i-discuss ko sa channel na to. Dito nyo rin malalaman kung ano yung kahulugan or definition ng philosophy, ano ang mga branches o sangay ng philosophy, at iba pa. The origin of the word philosophy comes from the ancient Greek words philos or philia or friend and love and sophia meaning wisdom. When combined, philosophy becomes the friend of wisdom or love of wisdom. Quite simply, there are only three fundamental questions philosophy tackles. What is reality? How do we know? And what should we do? Or how should we act? Or in Tagalog, ano yung nandyan? Ano yung totoo? Paano natin malalaman na totoo yun? At anong gagawin natin sa mga nalaman natin? Or paano tayo mamumuhay ng tama? What is reality? If you're asking me about reality as in reality, theologians have already answers to that. Dito papasok yung God, for example. However, if you ask scientists, God is not the automatic answer. Number one, science deals with empirical data. And number two, the question whether God exists or not is not a scientific question, but more of a philosophical question since philosophy entertains both empirical data and rational data. Dito papasok yung second question, how do we know? So, to keep it basic, may dalawang school of thought dito na pwede nating i-discuss. Rationalism versus empiricism. So, I mentioned a while ago that the question of whether God exists is not scientific because science follows the path of empiricism in which the idea that all learning comes from only experience and observations. So, kabilang sa mga matatawag nating empirical data ay mga lab tests at mga research na based on collective human experiences. Rationalism, on the other hand, is the school of thought that regards reason alone as the chief source of knowledge. So, marami sa mga rationalist ay mga mathematicians. And may mga questions sa pure math na walang solid empirical basis, but then it remains usable. In fact, mathematics is the backbone of a strong scientific theory because scientific theories are expressed in mathematical language. This never-ending debate has started way back Plato and Aristotle pa and has been bridged by Immanuel Kant upon the introduction of his transcendental idealism that has changed the course of philosophy until now, which I am to discuss in the next videos. But, you know, to keep it simple, both natin kailangan ng empirical data and rational data for us to have better judgments. Science aims for certainty. Philosophy, however, is about questioning certainty. One thing to know about philosophy is that it keeps on questioning even the most established truths that we already know. Luckily, a lot of thinkers in the scientific community can also be regarded as philosophers, like Albert Einstein. If he did not question the validity of Newtonian physics, particularly the implications of Newton's view of gravity, then hindi magkakaroon ng general theory of relativity, which is fundamental to the discovery of quantum physics and string theory. And now we come to the third question, what should we do? Since we already talked about God's existence, gamitin na rin natin ulit tong example para mas consistent. So upon philosophizing, people may have different philosophies as to whether God exists or not. Some people may believe in the Abrahamic God. Some may believe that God is equals nature. Some might believe that God is not personal. Some may think that God is nature, is personal, and is Abrahamic at the same time. And some might reject the total idea of a god. Now, the most fundamental question is what should we do? Dito papasok yung mga questions like what is the ideal justice system or what is the ideal government? How does the existence of God affects our justice system? The laws that we have now like abortion, human and animal rights, and others. So now we have discussed the three most fundamental questions of philosophy. Mas madali na nating magagasp yung branches nito. We can divide it into two main branches, theoretical philosophy and practical philosophy. Theoretical philosophy deals with understanding all phenomena of the world and beyond it. The central question is, what can we know? How things are in reality, in perception, or beyond that? Under theoretical philosophy is metaphysics, which examines the nature of reality, epistemology, the theory of knowledge, philosophy of mind, which then branched out to psychology and neuroscience, philosophy of language, philosophy of anthropology or the study of what makes us human, aesthetics deals with the principles of beauty or what makes something beautiful. So practical philosophy deals with what should be. It's about human action, what should we do, 
and the norms that we create out of things that we know. So when we say norms, ito yung mga rules na siniset ng society para mas maging harmonious ang relationship ng bawat isa sa community. Under that is ethics or the science of morality, philosophy of law, and political philosophy. Meron ding isang branch ng philosophy na both theoretical and practical, and that is logic. Logic is the study of correct reasoning. Lahat naman tayo may capacity to reason out, but there is good logic and there is bad logic. Oftentimes, we call this bad logic as a logical fallacy. It is also the main tool of philosophers. A good philosophical stance should be a logically sound one. A lot of philosophers in the past tried to explain their thoughts about metaphysics, including the existence of God, through deductive reasoning. Since yung mga gantong usapin ay wala namang direct empirical proof, due to our limits of perception, they came up with logical proofs instead. If you remember what I explained a while ago regarding empiricism versus rationalism, logical proofs are very important to rationalists. Notable examples would be the famous philosopher and mathematician mathematician Leibniz and his Leibnizian cosmological argument. In modern philosophy, we have Kurt Gödel with Gödel's ontological proof. Nowadays, mathematized na ang logic para mas precise in terms of accurate usage of definitions that contributes to its validity. So, para kanino nga ba ang philosophy? Not all people want to waste mental energy thinking about the things that are not so practical for them and that is understandable. But definitely, this is suitable for those who want to take law. In fact, may mga kilala ako na philosophy ang pre nila because it helps them na mas mahon pa yung reading skills and reasoning skills nila. It's also good for people who want to take Bible school or theology. Sa larangan naman ng advertising, pwede rin. Hindi lang sa advertising, pwede rin sa marketing, especially sa creatives at sa filmmaking. Gaya nga nang sinabi ko kanina, most of the deep Netflix series and movies that we watch, lahat yan may something kang mauhugot from philosophy. So, since philosophy is love of wisdom, almost all branch of philosophy may masasabi ang philosophers about it. From science, psychology, mathematics, religion, politics, art, at iba pa. It's also beneficial if you want to understand other people's perspectives. May mga naiskola ko randomly sa social media. Ang daming polarizing opinions and misunderstandings na I guess ma-address if we understand where people are coming from. So, there you have it. I hope you learned a lot. And thank you. Bye.